they're talking, they're talking and stuff, and they had a leg cross, so they got a cigar. Yeah. And they're talk yeah. <laughs> Somebody probably gonna watch and be like, he doesn't do this no more. He sucks. But anyway, <laughs> so because Seven Sunday is a high, we cannot give it to people above the prescription dose. So we only do it every second Sunday of the month. <laughs> every second Sunday of the month at JW Gala from 7 to 10 p.m. So one of the things I'm often asked is why Seven Sunday? What makes it so unique or different than every other live music event anybody could ever attend? Um, whenever I did that, you know, we did the first couple of shows, I was like, this is just a normal music gathering. There's nothing significant, nothing that sets it apart from every other music experience. And with that, with me, I know um, I love themes. I love, you know, the Harlem Nights, the uh, Great Gatsby, the um, House Party, the any type of theme, you know, Gone with the Wind, Derby, any type of, anything like that, the opportunity to dress up, which I also know my largest clientele base is women who love to dress up. So, <laughs> You put that together, it gives you another experience because what you do when you have a theme of live music, all the music is tailor-made to that theme. So, we did the Great Seven, which we had uh, Ty Williams, uh, Shy, and uh, another young lady, I can't remember, Tanisha, Goddess Tanisha. And it was a 1920s Great Gatsby. All the artists did a song from that era, or did had the vibe, they had the outfit. It literally takes you back in a time capsule where you are literally embodying that moment, that was the thing that separates it. So you're not only coming and getting just live music, you're getting live music of a dispensational era of time or a theme, a feeling, and it leaves you with a thought. It leaves you with a, a memory. Here in Columbia, um, great metropolitan city, um, but it's often said that we don't have anything to do. We don't have quality events of clean, fun entertainment. And uh, I too was one of those people who said um, that at one point in time. So what I did, um, apart from complaining, I'm, one, I'm the person that, you know, if you're gonna bring up a problem, you should also provide a solution. So to not be a part of that demographic that saw the problem, but did not want to do anything as it relates to the solution, that's the reason for Seven Sunday. I have always, always, always loved music. Like, literally when I listen to it, I feel every vibration, every symbol, every tap, every chord, I feel it in me. <laughs> and so, um, whenever, uh, you know, it came to, I struggled, because I'm like, hey, I'm a Christian, I believe in God, da, 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 da. I believe in Jesus, da, da, da. and this is just, I don't know, people gonna be drinking, dancing, da, 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 da. and I was like, you know what? Whatever. <laughs> people go to Red Lobster, they go to different bars, they're licking their ears, people dancing, singing, they laughing, telling jokes, or whatever. And it's just a good time. Nobody says it. This goes against my beliefs. <laughs> and so I said, you know what? All my life I've been a renegade and a rebel. Why not do it? <laughs> so, so I was like, you know what? I'm going to do it. And so I made a phone call. And the musician at the time, he and I, uh, we conversed and, you know, he was like, oh, let's do it. And we did it. And we're just a year into this thing and I'm telling you, we have made leaps and bounds. Like I said, we went from seven to seven people to 300. Well, it's not consistent, but it's consistently 200 to three something. Um, but uh, we're new. Um, when you're in small towns or cities, sometimes it takes uh, people a moment to grasp or jump onto it for various reasons, whether it be personal or business. Um, but nevertheless, what I do know, um, persistence, resilience is what uh, thrives through those things. Mm -hmm.